In the 1970s, I was dean of the college here, and I was very involved in the struggle against martial law. Uh, Dina and Butsabad were young, younger people at the time here. I was a student and I was exposed to groups already being, or programs being done by the Jesuits. So that's community work, working with farmers and fishermen, working with urban poor, working with laborers. And then when martial law was declared, everything that you say, everything that you do, you're somehow afraid na something will happen to you. So in, in a sense, I am a product of that particular history. On November 1, 1991, I met with Father B at the Jesuit residence. I suggested to him that the Ateneo de Manila consider putting up a school to train uh, people who would then serve in government or to train people already serving in government. And so when Father Ben Nebres called for me in uh, September of 1993 uh, and asked me, you know, are you still interested in that school of government idea that you had? I said, hey, I said, of course. When I talked to Dr. Banks and I said, look, you know, uh, we have all kinds of business schools. MBAs because we think it's important to train the people who take care of our money. We don't have a school to train people who handle power. And also because the local government code had just come into place and people were not reading it and were not taking it seriously, uh, we said that one, we would, we would like to establish a school of government because we think that people who take care of power should have as much training or more than those who handle money. <laughs> Uh, second, we would focus more on local government. Then we did some studies to see what's out there and who's offering what. And then from studies, we began to formulate uh, some programs, which we began to deliver in late 95, beginning nights. We had to work doubly hard. Kasi marami nang nauna kung sabaga. Ano ngayon ang niche ng School of Government? Pero mahirap talaga kasi we had no money. Kasi you're just starting. And, and then that's when I began toying with the idea, why don't we just put together the School of Government, CCS, and CSP all together? So you... When the Board of Trustees formalized in a decision, Dean Abad became formally appointed as Dean of the now academic unit called Ateneo School of Government. I don't think there was anyone that was particularly focusing on local governments, that's number one. They were not also engaging the elective officials. In general, they trained the bureaucracy. So we felt that it made sense for us. It would be a, a particular niche for us. And that's why the shape of the school of government was to actually deliver on site. One of the things that we realized with the problem of leadership training in the Philippines is that Almost all the leadership training is American-derived. We are at one end. We are, we are very focused on relationships. Uh, the Americans are very focused on the individual and getting things done. You, ha you have to be able to find a convergence. And to be able to find a convergence, you have to be discerning. Working with the Jesuits, it was really the education for justice. Men and women for others. From the beginning, the Ateneo School of Government was conceived to be a leadership school. We engage the students to be better prepared to build communities and transform our nation uh, town by town, city by city, province by province. Trying to create really a very good leadership, yun ang ini-inspire ng Ateneo School of Government. We need to have a critical mass of leaders in all fields, but especially in the field of governance. And I think the Ateneo School of Government is number one in that field in making that. In fact, I think the school needs to continue to be challenged and to challenge itself. Because uh, for me, the rule of thumb is when you reach a certain level, you always elevate the bar.
data on all of the provinces and I'm showing you just one province, Dinagat Islands. We have data from 2000 to the present on all of our provinces. So any of you would like to see this data? Kung handa na ba yung mga ganyang klaseng local government, local jurisdiction sa federalism, kung yung existing rules pa nga lang natin, hindi pa nila uh, napatutupad.